AO.com's YouTube channel. My name's Maddie and this is the show where I show you how to make recipes in unexpected appliances. And today we're going to attempt coffee pod soup. This is my new toy. It's a coffee machine, a coffee pod coffee machine. The whole point is that you just lift the lid, pop in a capsule, and that's usually for some hot drink, shut it down, press the button, and hey presto. But I figure, why don't they make these for instant soups? Really, it's just a capsule covered in a layer of foil, so what's stopping me from making my own ones? <laughs> that shouldn't be too hard, surely. So the idea is that I'm going to attempt to make instant soup powder from scratch. I had a look at the dry store ingredients at the supermarket and thought, right, what comes in powdered form that could potentially make a soup that isn't already soup mix because that would be cheating. And I found onion granules. So I thought we could attempt to make an onion soup. Already saying it, it doesn't sound very appealing, does it? Never mind. I also figured there's not much difference between stock and soup, really. There isn't. So we're going to go with a base of chicken stock. It's gonna be like a chicken and onion soup. Don't worry about measurements too much here, okay? You're very unlikely to attempt to recreate this, so just don't worry about it, that'll do. Let's go in with our onion granules. This is our key ingredient, so I figure we probably want half the amount. I am going to add just some gravy granules for depth. I found this celery salt, and I thought that might add a bit of freshness to it. Oh, unsurprisingly it tastes Let's, oh, it's gone my numb. Bit of greenery because, you know, should really. So I'm going with a pinch of parsley because parsley and onion go well. A little bit of pepper, just a couple of twists. A little bit of chopped garlic. Why not, eh? So we're gonna go with a bit of that as well. Shall I taste it? The aftertaste is onion soup. That'll do, ideal. Now, I've got an old coffee capsule and I took the foil off the top and I just gave it a really good rinse out. All I need to do is fill this up with my dry mix and then just reseal it again. So I'm gonna very carefully just load this up. That's about as much as I'm prepared to fill it because I really don't want this to overflow. All we need to do is seal it. Firstly, I've got some prep stick. You're going to very, or I'm, or I'm going to, you're not going to, because if you try this, you've got far too much time on your hands. <laughs> so I'm just gluing all of the edges which look as if they're going to touch the foil. And now I'm going to leave that to go tacky. I've got some extra strong tin foil. So using my capsule, I'm just going to draw around the edge. And I'm going to cut it out. I've got some little nail scissors just so it's super precise. This is feeling very blue Peter, isn't it, boys and girls? I've got my foil cut out and I'm gonna stick this down on top. I know I say this every single time on these shows, but if this works, it's finished. So, flip it out. All right, so I've left my homemade capsules to dry and now it is the moment of truth. Yeah, oh my goodness, okay. Let's just see if this works. Ready? I've done it. Oh no, why are you doing that? Okay, so at the moment, the reason it's not working is because the top of each of these capsules has a barcode. I'm going to try and cut the barcode off one of these and then glue it on top of my foil work. Okay team, so I've got my little nail scissors and I'm very, very carefully cutting out these to then try to stick on top of my own foil. Barcode. <gasps> oh my gosh! Guys, I've managed to get it to work. It's reading it, it's reading it. Look, can you see? Come on, stay, stay that color, stay orange. It stayed orange. No, don't go red. The barcode keeps slipping. Yes, it's recognizing it. We've tricked it with the barcode. Let's go for big, let's go for big go. You never know, it might work. Come on, come on, come on. <gasps> no, why are you coming out the front? It's trying to work. Oh dear, oh no, oh, panic, panic stations, instant soup mix, absolutely everywhere. <laughs> shoot, shoot, shoot. Successful or not, we have still managed to make half an inch of onion soup. It doesn't look pleasant, I'm not gonna lie, but I figure we might as well give it a taste. So here we go, fingers crossed. All I can say about that, if cheese onion crisps were made into a liquid, that's what it tastes like. That is absolutely 
disgusting. I think we'll call this more of an experiment instead of a recipe, and it's certainly not something I'd suggest you try at home. But I still think it has legs. Mark my words, this time next year I can guarantee you the big soup company will be bringing out their own soup capsules. Coffee pod copper soup, promise you, is going to be a thing, and you heard it here first. Just not in onion flavour. Oh.